get on with the game. First round, things. Fingers on buzzers. What is believed to be the name of this pre-event leader? Uh, Heston Blumenthal? Correct. <laughs> Multiple choice. Which of Shakespeare's three plays is now thought to be prophetic of the event? Is it A, Pericles, B, Cymbeline, or C, Boeing Boeing? <laughs> is it a trick question? It is. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, some horrible memory from the event, no doubt. <laughs> we all get them. Yes, indeed. By night, we all get them. <laughs> Please, everyone, remain indoors. <laughs> so, while Sheila's being electrocured, let's see what Peter's won. <laughs> That's right. It's fuel. Lionel, oh, glad you could make it. Can I get you a drink? Yeah, something soft. I'm driving. Parking is an absolute nightmare around here, isn't it? I have to reverse into the tiniest of spaces. Still, I managed it. I mean, parking is not exactly brain surgery, is it? <laughs> and I should know. Why is that? Are you a doctor? Careful. Not a doctor. I'm a brain surgeon. Big difference. Big difference. Yeah, I actually know a joke about this. What's the difference between a doctor and a brain surgeon? One's not exactly brain surgery. The other is brain surgery. <laughs> So, uh, what do you guys do? I'm an accountant. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I could do with an accountant. Filling in those tax forms can get really confusing, can't it? Still, it's not exactly brain surgery, is it? <laughs> I mean, brain surgery, believe me, is very complex. Are you an accountant, too? Uh, no, I work for a charity. Oh, that's a very selfless job, isn't it? I really admire you. I don't think I could ever do what you do. I say that because it's emotionally draining, not because it's hard. <laughs> I mean, it's not exactly brain surgery, is it? <laughs> Which, as a brain surgeon, is what I do. Lionel, here's your drink. Lionel's a brain surgeon, you know. <laughs> yeah, he mentioned it. <laughs> oh, Jeff, I keep you late at the Space Centre. As always. <laughs> uh... <laughs> food round. Uh, have you met Lionel? Uh, no, hello, Lionel. <laughs> So, Jeff, how do you earn a crust? Uh, oh, I'm a scientist. I, I work mainly with rockets. It's, <laughs> it's um, pretty tough work. Um, what do you do? Well, I don't mean to boast, but uh, I'm a brain surgeon. Brain surgery? <laughs> Not exactly rocket science. <laughs> They've arrived. Oh, great, thanks. What are those? It's the new Mitchell and Webb action figure prototypes. <laughs> Nobody told me we were doing those. Oh, they're brilliant. The toy manufacturers have taken the essence of our personalities and reduced them down to a one-eighth scale doll. Talking David Mitchell doll. Special features. David has a 28,000-word vocabulary in three different settings. Trenchant wit, articulate outrage, or quickfire panel show mode. <laughs> What are my special features? Um, it says you come with a spare T-shirt. <laughs> a spare T-shirt? Bloody hell, is that it? <laughs> I, I think you've got a, a talking thing, too. Bloody hell, is that it? <laughs> See, Rob, they're absolutely meticulous in their research. <laughs> oh, look. I'm anatomically correct. No, I'm not. Just got plastic underpants. Wow, they really are thorough, aren't they? <laughs> I fucking hate you. I said I fucking hate you, you stupid little bastard. Oh. Walking along next to a proper police officer in your crappy little community support costume like that means something, but it doesn't. Look, you can just flip him while... Oh, yeah, flipping. <laughs> 
You do well to choose your words carefully. Swearing at a real police officer is not a very good idea, is it, Sonny? Oi, now then, excuse me, listen. You shouldn't really be, uh... What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> well, he was riding his bike on the pavement. Sorry. You stay out of this. Who told you you could grab his arm? Well, I just thought... What do you think that is? Police brutality? I don't think it was being particularly... That's not police brutality, that's just community support brutality. That's just <laughs> normal brutality. Do you want to see some police brutality? <laughs> Police brutality, something you would know nothing about in your official capacity as just some guy. Okay. On your way. <laughs> you wanted to see me, sir? Ah, yes, come in, Hennemore. I've got rather an important job for you. Oh, dear, sir. As you'll be aware, my best and oldest friend, Jock, is coming in this afternoon and we're to have a round of golf. Now, I'll be in a meeting until four, so when he arrives at half three, I want you to show him in here, tell him to make himself comfortable, and invite him to inspect my newly acquired set of antique golf clubs once used by Edward VII. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Got it, sir. Edward VII. One important thing to remember is that Jock is a recovering alcoholic. And at this stage in his rehabilitation, it is absolutely vital that on no account should he get even the slightest whiff of liquor. Right you are, sir. He was an extremely violent drunk in his day, Hennemore, and bitterly obsessed with his failure to break through as a golf pro. An eventuality which, when in his cups, he lays squarely at the door of American golfer Jack Nicklaus. Oh, right, sir. On an unrelated note, my wife has just sent me this rather handsome and handsomely stocked drinks cabinet, exactly in the shape of a set of Edwardian golf clubs. Oh, that's nice, sir. Isn't it? Now, you've probably already thought of this, but on no account should you show the fully stocked drinks cabinet to the violent alcoholic Scotsman instead of the set of golf clubs. Absolutely, sir. OK, well, I'll just pop them both on this lazy Susan for now. <laughs> And remember, I don't want any screw-ups like last time. It's been a difficult year for transcosmic corridors, and the last thing we need is any kind of fracas. Don't you worry about it, sir. This, Your Majesty, is the linden tree, which has long stood as a symbol of the loyalty and strength of our people. It is our hope that as a token of friendship between our two countries, Your Majesty will accept the gift of 20,000 such linden trees to be planted <laughs> throughout your kingdom's many public parks and spaces. As gentle sentinels, proffering in the heat of the summer sun, both shade to your busy citizens and the linden's sweet distinctive scent. Ambassador, we thank you. And it is a most distinctive scent. <laughs> Prime Minister, may we have a word? Excuse us, Ambassador. <laughs> Your Majesty? Can you smell cum? <laughs> what? Can you smell cum? There's an incredibly strong smell of cum. Your Majesty. I was wondering if it might be the tree. It's not you, is it? No, it is not me, Your Majesty. But I don't.